The use of propofol is only appropriate in a surgical center, such as disc, sports, and spine center. And you can see here that propofol comes in, in a bottle such as this, and it's typically administered either as what we call a bolus, one single dose, or through a continuous infusion. So generally we would draw this up before the patient comes in the room and have it all prepared. And this white milky liquid is the medicine, it's the propofol. And generally when the patient comes in the room, we use this medicine to allow the patient to drift off to sleep before at the beginning of the surgery. And then typically we give it as a continuous infusion throughout the case. And that helps to keep the patient asleep. And it also has been shown to help prevent nausea and vomiting after the surgery. And this is a pump that can be specified to the patient's weight and the dose of medicine that we want to infuse. And once it's turned on, will administer the propofol through this tubing into the patient's intravenous line. And of course, prior to administering the propofol infusion, we're using monitoring such as this device, which has the ability to monitor blood pressure, a continuous EKG rhythm strip, as well as oxygen saturation in the blood. And additionally, they're continuously receiving oxygen via a face mask such as this or this, and this allows us the ability to ventilate the patient. So meaning if the propofol takes away their desire, their drive to breathe, which it often does, then we have the ability to ventilate them manually using this device.